The 2018 Volvo S60's preload engines make for a desirable spec sheet, but they come up a little short on refinement as it stands. The S60 doesn't quite justify its price tag when it comes to performance. Most S60s feature a 2.0 liter turbo 4 rated at 240 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque that Volvo brands T5. The base engine shuttles power to either the front wheels or all four for an additional $2,000 via an 8 speed automatic transmission. The Turbo 4 provides ample acceleration, but it sounds more coarse under acceleration than it should. Would you consider its price tag inclined toward $50,000? We've also noticed occasional confusion from the automatic transmission find an S60 with a T6 badge on its rump and it'll be powered by a turbocharged and supercharged, yes, both, version of a 2.0 liter Turbo 4 good for 302 horsepower and 295 pounds FT torque paired to the same 8-speed automatic. It's noticeably faster without making substantially better sounds and the hefty price tag makes it a tough so for us. Volvo only offers the T6 with the R design shrimp package and all-wheel drive topping the range is the S60 Pole Star with its 362 horsepower, 346 pounds FT of torque version of the T6's engine is fast thanks to its broad torque curve, but not as ferocious as rivals with full-on performance cars like the BMW M3 and Mercedes AMG C63 it's also not a lot cheaper, making it something of a dubious value and less heavily discounted base S60s with their standard 18-inch alloy wheels have a well-controlled ride that can occasionally crash hard on big bump selection the optional 19 inches makes things more brittle. The Polestar's Olin supplied suspension is much more impressive and remarkably costing it doesn't turn the S60 into a razor sharp corner carver, but there's little body lean and even the roughest pavement doesn't intrude too much into the cabin despite the thick rimmed steering wheel included on every S60, there's little road feel still, the S60's handling is sharp and direct, bordering on entertaining overall, though, the S60's plump curb weight, all wheel drive models approach 4000 pounds, makes itself known too much for drivers to have a lot of behind the wheel fun. The optional adaptive suspension provides several different suspension settings, but even the standard non-adjustable setup push enough for day-to-day -day driving and taut enough for a jog through the twisties all-wheel drive is optional with the base engine and standard elsewhere as you might expect for a country covered in snow for much of the year. The Haldex system quickly shuttles power around as needed up to 50% of the sedan's power can be shifted rearward for more traction. The S60 Cross Country sits about 2.5 inches higher off the ground than its siblings, but it's more about the look than any real capability, it leans more into corners, but generally drives just like any other S60, albeit with a seating position above most sedans.